Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. And maybe there's more in town, I'm not really sure. But anyway, the dock is, I think, probably our safest bet. And also, say there might be one around there. That seems promising, that one down there. But well, I'm not going to do that right now. I think at the moment we want to be able to get fertilizer on our grass field. Although we don't actually need to do that. Right? In order to be able to do our grass field up there, let me just take a look. So the, the only thing that we need to do with our grass field at the moment, let's zoom in up here and we select grass. It's not showing grass here anywhere. I don't know why it's not showing it up as planted grass. There's nothing on there. But if I go to this one, it does show us up uh, a little bit of stuff. So we, we've got this out here. It's got the needs plowing, but I don't believe that affects grass. And I don't believe lime does either. And then we've got this patch right here. So if we can put fertilizer on that, or if we can treat that, then it will help it out. And what we want to do in order to treat it is roll it. We can just roll it. We don't need to actually buy fertilizer and put on it. We can do grassland care. So there's grassland equipment that we can use for that. We've got rollers. It's not rollers. It's uh, grassland care right there. We've got that one right there is the GK300 full edition. It's 13,500. We've got a little tiny roller right there, which is a really good one. There's a meadow roller just there. Um, there's these rollers here that work quite nicely. And then you've got that one, which is quite a big one, and then that scratches it up, and you can plant with that one as well. But it's this one here. So that one's 5,000. It's 1.9 meters wide. This is 2.9 meters wide. But what you can do with this one is you have that one, and then you have that on the back of it, and then you put one of the other rollers on that side and one on that side, and you've got something that's three times the width. Like, is that, it actually works really cool. And I, I really like that idea. But we can't afford that at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go with this one. Because it's slightly wider. It's uh, three meters wide. And we're going to buy it. It's a concrete roller. It's going to be a bit difficult to get that one back. But we need to buy it. 5,500. And that's going to double the yield of the grass. What it will do is it will actually... It, it basically just improves the quality of the grass um for gameplay purposes it adds a layer of fertilizer and it doesn't need to do anything more than that so i'm going to take that one off now i know i said that i'm not actually going to cut the grass again and i'm not but i still think that we should treat it as though we're going to cut it um just to sort of see the different things that are happening with it and so rolling it is probably not a bad idea so i'm going to put the roller on the front uh, put the, i'm going to put the weight on the front and then we'll have the roller and the other thing that i wanted to get was a it's under forestry a stump grinder so what have we got in the way of stump grinders Twenty-four thousand for that one Parsley mulches can be used to remove stumps and bushes. It's a couple of different ones. That's 27,000. We've got various different types of mods in here. There's not much in the way. There's that one there, which I really want for moving the logs around. I'm not doing a lot of forestry. I've already been told. You all said you don't want me to do a lot of forestry. I reckon that trailer right there. That one just there. And the... Actually, we don't even need the log winch. We don't need that one at all. So we just want that trailer to be able to move the logs and get them down into town. That would be the only one that we would want. And a stump... The stump grinder is the expensive bit. I want to be able to use a stump grinder. I can't do that at the moment. We're going to have to go... We're going to go and get our roller... Unfortunately, we don't have a way to get the roller loaded onto a trailer. I don't have a trailer and I don't have the money to go and buy a trailer either. Right now, I also don't have any produce from the greenhouses to go and sell. The extra cheeses, uh, the extra truffles, the rare truffles, I'm thinking that we kind of... We'll find a couple of rare truffles in the winter when we sell our silage. And that will compensate for the fact that we're not making the second round of silage on our property. 
think that would work out fairly well. Um, and then we get the money. And that should allow us the money to buy the chicken pen. It's only 9,000 to buy the chicken pen. So we've, we've got a cheap option for that. But we've still got to be able to buy the machinery to both plant and harvest the sorghum. So we're going to want to plow to maximize yield on the field up there. The plow is quite an important thing. We do want this roller anyway, although I said that, you know, we're not really going to be using the roller at the moment. We're not going to be benefiting from it. We are kind of because we're going to be... Um, we're going to roll it and it's going to give two rounds of fertilizer on that bit of field and we're going to plow it up and use it at arable so we're not going to need to worry about adding fertilizer to that field when we're working it at least the first time uh, which is a positive thing saves us it will save us a little bit of money we're still going to need to get a spreader of some kind because we need to put lime on the fields and that's going to increase the yield of sorghum i want to try and get maximum yield out of it if we can so we're going to have to sort of work towards that here is our roller. Now, you wouldn't take a concrete roller like this. And I'm, I really like, I, I really do like this roller. Right, we've got a granite one, which is only a little bit smaller than that. It's just a big, long slug of granite. It's got the same wooden blocks in the ends for, um, like, holding on to it. This, this is absolutely fantastic. Um little bit of uh, metal banding around the edge of this concrete right here just to stop it from splintering trying to help it stay solid but a concrete one like this you wouldn't roll this up the road you definitely wouldn't you would load that if you were moving that along the road you would put it on a trailer um same with the granite one that um we've got um it's a huge granite roller it's a massive great big thing um a very very heavy granite roller it, it works a treat though it, it really does but you wouldn't want to have that granite roller and put it anywhere uh, like you, you wouldn't want to be driving it along the road you wouldn't want to be doing this and this concrete one we wouldn't be doing this with a re in, in real life we would not be doing this we would have loaded it onto a trailer but we don't have a trailer we don't have any kind of transport trailer that we can use so we're gonna need to do it like this and I mean I have driven a roller along the road before now just slowly you, you you definitely don't rush and you i wouldn't ever dream of a roller like this and driving it through the middle of the town i wouldn't do it i would find another way that there would have to be another way like you're dragging this up through a town for one if it was a concrete roller like this it would probably end up breaking it and number two the amount of noise that it would make would be terrible. You'd have to go really, really slowly or you risk shattering it. You cannot go rushing around fast with something like this on the back because if it hits a stone in just the wrong way, you're going to be chucking off great big splinters of concrete and you really don't want to do that with your roller. So we're not going to turn right here. I want to try and turn as little as possible with this one while we're going through town because it skews and drags is there a truffle here i don't think there was i couldn't remember if there was one here at the restaurant it seems too obvious a, a place for it doesn't it i think i did check it though I, th I think i did sort of wander around here and um no well, there doesn't seem to be unless they've dumped one in the bushes okay there doesn't appear to be a truffle here at the restaurant hmm. all right so yeah, you don't want to be turning too much either if you can help it. If you've got an option for fewer turns, you take them and you take the turns as slowly as you can because the harder you turn, the more twisting it's doing on the road. And if you are in a situation where you absolutely have to put this on a, on a road, then turning sharply is basically just scraping part of it along the road and you can damage the surface of the road as well as the roller and i don't know about other countries but i do know in the uk that if you drive something along a public highway that damages the surface of the road you can be liable for the repair costs so if you have a 40 ton um, excavator with steel tracks and you drive that one up the road and put a whole load of 
something more than just scratches onto the tarmac and you actually dig in and you, you, you break parts of the tarmac, then you are the one that is liable for the repair cost. And it'd be the same with the roller. It's probably not going to actually do anything, but there is a small chance that it could crack or break a piece of the tarmac, especially if you're turning or if you're driving a little bit too fast, and then you're liable for repairing it, um, uh, for, for the repair costs. And we don't really want that. Now, the interesting bit, because we only do 12k on this, is that's, I'm going flat out this one, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm not slowing down. The tractor itself is going to slow down. The tractor itself is, is going to struggle to get up this hill. I'm curious what it's going to do once we get onto the grass. Because that's an actual crop, I think what it will do is it will actually roll a slice of the field and slow everything down. Oh! I'm wondering why it suddenly sped up. It's because on this bit of the road, I'm I'm not gonna complain about this by the way, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about it. It's because the surface of the soil is directly underneath the road all the way down here, but on this bit, the surface of the ground underneath us is actually, there's uh, just for the map itself, there's a gap underneath the surface of the road and where the soil underneath is. And because the roller is not currently touching the soil itself, now it is, and now it's not, as soon as it touches the surface of the soil, it slows down again. There. And now it'll stay at 12 because it's now class as rolling again. So because the roller was suspended on that road surface above the soil and not actually rolling the soil itself, uh, gameplay purposes, it decided it didn't really matter and it, it, so it just left it. It didn't actually do anything. And that's why it suddenly sped up. Um, it, it said, no, we're not actually engaged in doing the job that we're supposed to be doing. And so it, it just left it. So I thought that a grass roller, when you went over grass that was beyond the first growth stage, it actually knocked it back. But it's not doing that right here. It's not making any change whatsoever to it. So it would appear that it's only the other type of roller, the one that you use to go over the crops. If you use that one, then I, that one does knock it back. But this one doesn't seem to be, unless it's an option. Change drive direction, just control, deactivate, select, select next tool, no, there isn't actually anything doing on here. If we go and have a look on the map, it's not changing anything on there or there either. Right. So we're going to go around our little tracks that we've got here and we're going to take this one straight up to that grass field and I will manually roll around the edge just to start with and that should, I mean if this doesn't actually do anything to the field I'm going to be slightly annoyed I thought that it knocked the grass back but apparently it doesn't do that it won't add any fertiliser stage to the grass that's already fully grown, it won't do anything at all to it um but I, I did think that it knocked the grass back. So I don't know why it's not doing that. But it should still add the fertilizer stage to the field. At least I hope it does, because otherwise we've just gone and spent a load of money on nothing. This is supposed to be improving our grassland. And this is something that I really like about this version of the game, is that we've now got proper grass rollers and... You, like you can improve the quality of your grassland so you can go over them I think that I'm sure there's chain harrow mods already that do the same thing that hey, wait is that not doing anything <gasps> why isn't it doing anything I've just brought it all that way Grassland care. Oh, that is... Grass rollers and weeders improve the yield of your grass fields. Concrete rollers mod pack. Why aren't you actually rolling the field? Do I have to have it combined with that one? Hmm. 
I know that that one works. Because I've already tried it. And I know that that one works. Why aren't you doing anything? Oh, wait a minute. No. Let's just do a line along the middle a minute. Right, that's not doing anything at all there. Um, select next tool. Activate cruise control. Hire AI worker. No field found. This is a field! This is classed as a field. I guess I'm really confused. I've completely wasted my money, haven't I? This is slightly frustrating because this is supposed to actually roll the field and it's classed as a field. We know because we've already done work in a field here. So why it's telling me that there's no field found... Why this one is not actually letting us do anything with it, I, I have no idea. There's, there's something strange going on here. Very strange. And I'm not sure what. It's, what really bugs me is I don't know whether it's a fault with the roller or a fault with me. If I, if I knew either way, I'd be able to do something about it. But I don't know whether I've done something wrong or the roller is doing something wrong. And the only way to find out for sure... Because that's field there. Stubble tillage, cultivated, ploughed seedbed, growing. Ready. It should actually have growing on it then, shouldn't it? Got that up on there. So why? It's telling me that I need lime on here. I mean, the fertilizer there, that's even showing up on a bit that's not field. And then I've got the bit that is field. But I drove that into a bit that was field, and it still didn't work. If anybody has got any clues as to why this isn't working, I'll be ever so grateful. It would be wonderful. Apparently, that grass roller was 5,000 euros down the drain, and there's nothing that I can do about it. So we're just going to leave that there. There isn't really a lot else that I can do. I was only going to roll that field anyway, and uh, then we were just going to kind of leave it. So we're going to want to be able to move on a bit. Now, I'm not selling that baler, although I'm tempted to sell the baler so that we can get the money and use it for other things. I'm not going to. All I'm going to do is... I'm just going to say we're going to skip the night. There's nothing else that we need to do. Uh, there's nothing else that we can expand with at the moment, so we'll just go there and we will move to the second part of May And I don't think there's any jobs that we want to do so we just need to maintain water in our greenhouse uh, the two greenhouses and uh, Food and water for the sheep as long as they've got everything that they need up there We don't need to worry about anything else. We've got 550 euros right now. So sheep in here. Water, 1,200. Food, 2,600. And production costs in here, 18,000 and 18,000. So we've got absolutely... We're fine on both of these. There is nothing else that I need to do today. I'm not going to worry about any other contract job. I suppose we could just take a quick look and see what contract jobs are available. I'm not doing bailing. I I want to avoid contract jobs. Oh, that was the thing. I forgot about these. The supply and transport. Supply 204,000 litres of honey to the supermarket before the time expires. We could go and do that. This is a, a supply and transport missions are a new one. Supply 26,000 litres of potatoes. Uh, Sugarcane, supply 17,000 litres of clothing to the supermarket. I Yeah, I don't have the ability to go and do any of those anyway. So, But th that was a, a new range of contracts that we've now got that we can go and do if we want to. It's another mod that was added in. But I'm not going to worry about them. So let's go to sleep again. On to the next month. The silage should actually now be fermented. I think it takes about a month to ferment. So we can go and check on our silage. We've also got our greenhouses will have produced 
a bit. We've got the sheep will have produced a bit as well. We'll we'll check them out in just a second. So we've got 240 from property income. We've got a few expenses there as well. We've got our tiny little beehive right here. And then we've got the sheep. We can check these. So let's have a look. We've got 1,000 litres of water. And we've got 15 animals in here. Uh, the age 3 months. Age 16 months. And then these in here. 18 months. 5 months. So we still don't have all sheep producing yet. But we will soon. Um, in another 6 months. Eight months. Five months. They, they got five months to go. And then all of them will be producing wool. Which is that's, that's what we want. What do we like for honey up here? So it's the height of honey production season now. We've got ten litres. <laughs> We're making a vast amount from our honey. Go and have a look at the greenhouses and we'll see what produce we've got here. We haven't got a huge amount yet. But we will be able to get some of this to sell down at the supermarket. And that's going to help us out a bit. And then we've also now got fermenting 62%. So we've got some silage as well. I would like to get a plow so that I can plow up the fields up there. And I was also wanting to cut down a tree or two. The problem with cutting down the trees is that we're not going to be able... Like, I can cut the trees down and we'll be able to make some money from it. It's just that stand over there. I wanted to remove a few for making room for the crop. Um, so we'll, we'll be able to make some money from it. But it's getting rid of the stumps. And one of the rules we have for the Hardcore series is that we're not allowed to lease anything. So we've got to hope for a stump grinder in here. Which we don't have at the moment. That trailer would actually be quite good. 6,500 for that trailer. It'll save us having to load all those bales manually to carry them off to sell them. Okay, we won't do that. We'll leave that. Uh, there's nothing else I need to do at the moment, I don't think. Uh, I know what I can do. Right, filters. I've got the grass showing. Growth. It's not showing the grass is growing. And I think that might be because it's not actually classed as cut grass. Although it did the mowing just fine. It's behaving in a very peculiar fashion anyway. The grass doesn't seem to... Like, it's, it's showing me that we've got grass in here. But it doesn't show it as growing. So I'm wondering if maybe we would need to possibly plough it all up and then replant it with grass in order to get the proper effects on here because if i look on this growth stage two out of three for forage yield bonus plus 45 percent it's 50 percent um fertilized so it's telling i've got the information here about it but when i bring the roller onto the field it doesn't like it that roller right there appears to have been a bit of a waste of money but i mean we will need to cut more grass for our sheep because that hay in there is not going to be sufficient to keep them forever. So we'll be able to deal with that later. I've got no reason to do anything at the moment. I'm not going to worry about doing the trees right now. Because if we go into here and here. It doesn't actually say. I mean we've got planks and furniture. Well I guess we could get an idea of when wood might be June and July for furniture. June and July for planks. What about wood chips? January for wood chips. So I don't know when wood itself is the good sell time because uh, I don't have any indication on the sale on the sale list of, of when the, the, the wood is going to be best sold. Let's let's go let's go through another day. And another day done. So we're now on 206 euros. We've got 602 litres in there. Water and food is still fine for these animals. And water and food is fine up here. I've actually put a bale in. This one here has got 996 litres. So that was very, very nearly almost full. And we're going to have a look at the animals in here. Five months and 18 months, and those are three months and 16 months. 
Let's get another bale and put into each of the pens. I'll do water a bit later. Don't worry about water just yet. I'll chuck that one over there. And I want another one that will... Chuck down the hill over there like that. So you will go in there. And then this one will go in there like that. So there's our sheep fed. Greenhouses. The silage should be ready to sell right now. That was the other thing. I was wondering whether I should sell silage early. So that we could get started with plowing and things like that. It's not that that I want. Actually, yes, it is that that I want. I'm going to take a look at the rough idea of what the silage prices are going to be. Silage now is rock bottom. So, no, we won't. We'll leave that until later on in the year. It's 150 per 1,000 litres at the moment. We can definitely do better than that. Let's go and have a look and see what water we've got. 16,000. We've got plenty of water. Let's go to July. Could probably just skip the next couple of days right through until at least August. Before we need to start worrying about water and things like that. I'm going to go into negative equity, I think, overnight, though. I have 34 euros left. So while I do think that that roller was a little bit of an error, I don't think it's knocked us back by any hugely significant amount. I think we're going to be all right with it. 700 litres of water there. Uh, the greenhouses will be just fine. If I've got water in the tanker, we won't need to worry about getting the money just yet. Which means that I can leave the greenhouses to keep accumulating food. Uh, strawberries in here. What have we got? August, September, October. It's July at the moment, so they're up a little bit. Uh, what have you got? You're full. So we should be okay for neg negative, negative equity and also the greenhouses, the water lasts a fair while in there. So let's sleep again and we will get minus monies. I'm now on minus 138. So I will check very quickly in here. I've got 15,000 litres of water there and 15,000 there. There's a few couple thousand litres of strawberries being stored. Tomatoes haven't reached a storage point yet. We're doing just fine over here. 600 litres of water there. 780 litres of water in there. We've got grass. We've got everything that we want. And August is up here. Tomatoes. August is up a little bit. Except it's July. Let's skip again. Minus 300. Uh, we are on August now. The August price there for tomatoes is starting to... Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.